So we decided to focus on those potentially beneficial bacteria in aquaponics to see who they were, where they could be found, and how they evolved. So really, we wanted to have a first insight on how those microorganisms in aquaponics could be helpful for the production of uh, fish and vegetables. Um, hello, my name is Mathilde Beck and I'm a PhD researcher and focused in aquaponics. More specifically, I'm working on microorganisms in aquaponics, that is to say, bacteria and uh, fungi. So you might ask me why I chose to focus on microorganisms, because uh, we already knew that they were present in the system due to the information that we had on uh, the nitrification process. But we suspected that there was more at stake uh, in aquaponics, actually, just like we discovered that there was more at stake in soil with a plant beneficial um, bacteria which are present in the in the soil. So we decided to focus on those potentially beneficial bacteria in aquaponics to see who they were, where they could be found, and how they evolved. So really we wanted to have a first insight on how those microorganisms in aquaponics could be helpful for the production of uh, fish and vegetables. So what I started doing at the beginning of my PhD is try to explore the diversity of microorganisms in aquaponics. So I sampled uh, the water and the biofilter compartment of several uh, aquaponic and aquaculture system in Northern Europe and uh, focused on the bacterial DNA to identify those bacteria and see if we could have information based on their name, basically. So I identified uh, several groups and the first uh, information that we got out of that study was that indeed uh, each different system seems to have its own bacterial uh, community, which with its specific specificities are uh, mostly linked, we, we suppose, to the water parameters, to the fish species and to the plants grown uh, in the system. But then I only managed to identify those bacteria down to the genus level. So if you imagine, it's as if I identified people only down to their family names and uh, it stopped. So I could not really have an information on their function, what they could do, how they could help in aquaponics because I did not have the specific information about each bacterial group. So I decided to focus my study also on directly on the functions which are present in aquaponics. So I decided to see if I could directly collect bacteria in an aquaponic system and see if they could respond to specific tests, if they could uh, prove beneficial for, for plants in aquaponics. So that was my, my second angle. So that's really about who they are and what they can do. But then the second question was, how do they evolve in a system? And that was another approach of my research. I wanted to see how bacteria could evolve over the course of a full lettuce growth cycle in a system, how they would move from one compartment to another, how they could communicate, uh, if they stayed the same all the time, or if they were influenced by any changes, any change in the system, happening in the system. So that's really what I focused on. And now I have to finish analyzing all my interesting data and try to wrap it up in uh, in interesting data, which could be useful for aquaponic producers everywhere. Music